In an earlier series of videos, we discussed how to diagnose a problem with your charging system. Let's assume that you've done that and you've determined that the voltage regulator is your problem. How do we install a new one? It's actually quite easy. But before we do that, I'd like to ask you to remember two things. First, voltage regulators are not polarity sensitive. You don't have to polarize a voltage regulator. So that's one less thing to worry about. Secondly, contrary to popular belief, a new voltage regulator is not a plug and play item. You have to take the cover off, you have to clean the points and make sure they're set correctly and you may have to adjust it, okay? After that, it's very easy. So let's talk about installation, okay? In your car, you go and you disconnect the battery. That way there we won't have any shorts. We're going to disconnect the wires from the old voltage regulator, disconnect the screws, take it out of the car. We get our new voltage regulator, you take the cover off and you'll notice that there's a set of points right here and another set of points here. You'll get a little bit of sandpaper, Hold the points open. The natural position for these points is to be closed. You've got to hold them open, put the same paper in, clean the bottom, turn it over, clean the top, do the same here. They're fine. Now, your shop manual will tell you there should be a gap in the set of points. Again, you have to hold them open with your thumb to do it. Check the gap. It's probably between 12 and 20 thousandths and follow whatever the book tells you to do. Once that's done, you're set. You're going to put the voltage regulator in your car. You're going to connect the wires up as you took them off the other one. You're going to reconnect your battery. Start your car. Now, go and get your voltmeter, and you want to make sure that this is operating within parameters. In our next video, we'll tell you exactly how to do that.